Assalamu alaikum and salam sejahtera. My name is Nur Aizilin Bagramain and today uh, we are going to present about movie critic produced by me, Aizilin and also my group partner, Amira. So before we go through the slide, let me introduce you to the table of the content for our presentation. The content involves list of characters, short video portraying scene with critical analysis, synopsis of the movie, synopsis excerpt, critical analysis and the conclusion of the movie. Uh huh. Oh my god. When did Mia mix that? It's gorgeous. I uh, know, right? She's a genius. It's infuriating. These aren't done yet. She didn't finish the mascaras? I don't like snitching on your non sexual life partner. Yes, you do, Barrett. She ate some weed candy and said she'd finish tomorrow. Okay. I'll clean it up in a bit. So, where are you headed to tonight? Uh, homecoming. Homecoming? Okay, what color is your dress? White and gold. White and gold. All right, so now let's go ahead and finish this eyebrows. They are great brows to never, ever. Mm. Mm. Let me put this up. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Wow. Girl. It's so quiet. I know. I didn't see even there at all. Girl, I'm put that oh, shit out. Put it out. Let's put it out. Ow! Girl. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That baby look like he's smoking. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, wait, look at this, look at that, look, look at this. And this is clever. Yes, one night stand, our single use makeup kit you can just throw in your bag, it's our best seller. Claire likes this, and so she'd like to sit down with you at her earliest convenience to discuss investing in your company. What? Are you serious? <laughs> Oh. Obviously, Claire has excellent taste, but we started this business so that we didn't have to answer to anyone. Thank you for stopping by. And you are the cleanest man I've ever seen. <laughs> you should hit that beat. Please. She's too much. Give me a second. I'm going to be right back. Don't leave. You the idea woman. Look, good ideas do not come to me if they are forced. I have a process. Let's go out. Please. Girl, what? Harry's throwing a last minute birthday party. We could swing by there, have one drink, and then I can give him his birthday present. We've got a presentation tomorrow. This is like seriously important homework. Look, there'll be young girls there. We could ask them some questions, maybe come up with some ideas. Powder called Sparkly Face. How about I gotta give Harry his birthday gift so you ask some of these other people around here what they do with their makeup. I'll be right back. Mia, I can't. We don't have time. It's just a happy birthday. Juices, Mel. Yeah, Mel, follow your juices. Okay, just be respectful. You be respectful. Look, I'm not arguing. You I'm not arguing with you either. Oh, it's not. Do you two need to fight in private, or shall I count to ten? Count to ten, because I got more shit to say. Look, She's look, trying look. to help us evolve. But you're so scared that you can't tell her anything. So you can't work anything out. That's how this whole mess started. Fuck. Come on, you, you guys gotta come back to work. You do, I mean... Did you see this? I found this on the Get Some website. Clara Luna is introducing a new product at her launch party. What? She ripped us off. That's one night stand. You're, you're let someone just take your best seller and your best friend. Thank you for seeing me. Yes, Mia Page, how can I help you? I have an offer for you. A sweet ass offer that you won't want to refuse. The synopsis of the movie starts with two best friends with different personalities run their own beauty company, Mia and Mel. Mia Carter, played by Tiffany Haddish. Described as a practical and resourceful woman, while male, played by Ross Bar Brand, portrayed as an uncompetitive woman, rushing to earn a fortune to live a lavish lifestyle. 
the tables have turned when their company runs into a $493,000 of debt, which forces them to accept the investment offer from a founder of a major cosmetic empire, Claire Luna, played by Salma Hayek. Claire Luna is a manipulative woman who planned to steal and take over the company from Mia and Mel. Mia and Mel went through various obstacles and challenges in order to prove their capabilities as well as gaining trust from Claire Luna. However, Claire Luna tricked them by stealing their business and marketing idea through one of her branch companies. On top of that, Claire Luna also has forced them to fire one of their workers named Barrett, played by Billy Porter. Throughout the process of proving themselves to Claire Luna, Mia and Mel briefly split up due to the misunderstanding and they both have different approaches towards Claire's Luna work ethics. Nevertheless, they reconcile after realizing that they have been manipulated by Claire Luna. Afraid of possible loss of their business, Mia and Mel have approached Shay, which played by Lisa Kudrow, who is Claire Luna's former business partner to start a new company called Proud Cosmetics. Then, the launching ceremony for a new cosmetic product hosted by Claire Luna, Mia and Mel sabotaged the ceremony and took the advantages in promoting their new product Ride or Die. At the end of the movie, Claire Luna was extremely furious as she realized that she still needed to pay Mia and Mel an amount of 49% of all subsequent earnings according to the agreement. For the synopsis excerpts, 1. As they arrive at work, Mia Carter takes over uh, for Sydney, which is one of the workers in Mia and Mel uh, besides the Barretts, to put makeup on a teenage girl who is going to homecoming and meanwhile, Mel Page looks over their expense and sees that they are in the serious debt and are overdue on the payments since she is uh, irresponsible with the money. For the video except too, uh, with the help of other close friends, Jills and Angela, Mia and Mel, attend the baby shower event and provide a grooming service for their friend, Kim, and the other women, including Kim's aunt, critics uh, Mia and Mel Cosmetics Company in a patronizing and harsh manner. They escape the annoyance by going upstairs to smoke a weed and not realizing that just baby son's name's rider is in his crib. And they try to immediately leave. For the exit three, the next day a young man, Josh, arrived at the Mia and Mel on behalf of his boss, Claire Luna who wants to buy Mia and Mel's business to incorporate into her own company. Uh, Mel immediately accepts the offer. For the video except for, due to the lack of ideas for tomorrow's business presentation at Ovido, Mia brings Mel to a party for a younger guy that Mia is currently hooking up with. While lacking inspirations, they smoke weed and self-reflect about how much they always look out for each other. For the video except 5, Mia and Mel used their one night stand's makeup idea as a launching point for their new product. Claire Luna is unimpressed and takes more interest in an older makeup kit product. After she next, uh, after she knows that Barrett's, who is in charge of the crafting the products, isn't working fast enough, she ordered them to fire him. Uh, and the video as a six, uh, after uh, she orders them to fire him. Mia and Mel celebrates their victory with the karaoke. There are several incidents that can be classified as critical analysis in this movie. Uh, the first incident is a miscommunication occurs when the worker does not alert with the due date of the payment, which shown in the scene at 37 seconds. The scene shows negative behavior. Theories involved is non-verbal communication, which can be concluded as facial expression. Mel's face changes when she saw the late payment notice, which indicates that she is worried. The act of Mia and Mel delaying the payment and being irresponsible 
with the money causes the company to involve with a $493,000 worth of debt. As a responsible worker, we should pay a close, a close attention towards the important due dates involving the company. In contrary, Mia and Mel should have set a reminder on their smartphones or write it inside their notebook so that they can be aware and would not miss any important dates. Incident number two uh, is an incident that involves unethical behavior, which is smoking weed in front of a baby at the scene of 45 seconds. The scene shows negative behavior, which involves two types of theory which is inappropriate attitude and lack of empathy. The act of Mia and Mel smoking weed inside of their customer's house shows that they are unprofessional and rude. Smoking weed near a baby will also cause respiratory problems and affect the baby's health. A responsible worker should practice professionalism when working and all types of negative attitude and bad manners must be put aside to ensure a successful career. In contrary, Mia and Mel should have attended work seminars as an initiative to improve their working skills. They can also go to a rehabilitation center to treat their drug addiction. Next is Incident 3. Incident 3 involves Mia and Mel delay their work. Mia still wants to go to the party even though they have a meeting tomorrow. The scene shows negative behavior which involves two types of theory which is improper timing and procrastination. The act of Mia and Mel going to the party will affect both of their focus and work performance. Moreover, procrastinating will ruin the job's quality. As a responsible worker, we should finish a task immediately as it will create more room for improvisation. Moreover, a dedicated worker is always committed to completing tasks. In contrary, Mia and Mel should have cancelled their plans to the party and prepare themselves for a work presentation. An impressive presentation will attract and convince the investor to incorporate with their company. So, I will continue the next critical analysis, which is Incident 4. The scenes can be found at minutes 2 of 56, and the scene show negative behavior. Uh, the types of theories involved in the scenes are inappropriate language, aggressive communication, and informal language. Mia and Mel are going in front of Cleruna, which is the investor, and demonstrate that they are impolite and lack good manners and it will leave a negative impression on the investor and influence his or her decisions to invest. Even if they have opposing views and approaches, a good worker should practice uh, com good communication skills and furthermore, a formal mode of communication must be practiced. Uh, for example, uh, Mia and Mel uh, need to have a proper discussions about uh, things that they they both disagree on next and incident five the scenes show a negative behavior which is uh, still another person's idea the scenes show at minutes 3 24 and the types of theories involved are irresponsible uh, which is a uh, clear luna exhibits a uh, careless work ethic by uh, stealing a makeup idea product from the mia and mel company a good employer should be more honest and appreciate their employee efforts. Uh, manipulating and exploiting the employee causes them to rebel and thus affecting the work. For instance, Claire Runa must be open and honest about the contracts she signs with the Mia and Mel company. Lastly, critical analysis of incident 6. The scenes show a positive behavior. The types of theories involved are formal communication and opportunities. The act of Mia and Mel offering collaboration and partnership with Ashe has led them to success and benefit them in terms of expanding a business activity. We can gain many knowledge in terms of professional and unprofessional behavior at the workplace. 
Moreover, we can conclude that all of these aspects of communication do not only affect our relationships with others but also teach us how to communicate effectively.